now we will discuss with you about the application of the trigonometry not all applications some basic applications of the trigonometry some applications of trigonometry means we have to actually use the trigonometry in solving the problems with respect to heights and distances so before we start the topic of height and distances or we call it some applications of the trigonometry we must be aware about two important angles these are angles of elevation and angles of depressions so what is the angle of elevation what is the angle of depression to understand it there is a very simple logic suppose you are standing on a road suppose this is the road you are standing here and there is a pole there may be a tree there may be any object or the top of the roof suppose this is the top of the pole or the top of a tree there is any bird you are observing this bird from here and you join it and you find this angle theta so when you are from lower to upper you are observing any object from lower to upper that angle between the line of joining that object to i with base is known as the angle of elevation now suppose you are sitting on the top of the roof this is one of the house you are here and this is another building which is higher than this higher than this means second building's height is more than the first building's height and now you are watching a tank a water tank which is on the top of this second building which is more higher than the first building you want to observe or see it from this place then if you draw a line parallel to base now this is also the angle of elevation so angle of elevation forms when one observe anything from lower to upper when lower to higher so this is known as the angle of elevation this is angle of elevation this is also angle of elevation so what is the important to note important to note is whenever you will discuss about angle of elevation meaning by you are on the lower side and object which we want to observe or anybody want to observe is toward the more higher side than where the observer is sitting or standing or anything is observed so this is about the angle of elevation which is very very important phenomena which is very important term to solve the problems of heights and distances because in this chapter we will discuss mainly angle of elevation angle of depression and we will discuss about the how to find the height or how to find the distance